Hi ladies, we are on week 10 in your packet. Um, so this week you're going to be talking about line segments um, and different types of lines. Um, so on the first page, so this is page 14 in your packet, you have um, a couple different um, visuals that you can look at. Um, and this goes through different types of lines. So a reminder, a line is a straight route. So um, it goes in both directions. So those arrows show that it's going to go to the right and the left, um, never ending. It just continuously keeps going. Parallel lines is like a railroad track. They never intersect. They're never going to cross each other. A line segment has a point um, on each end showing that it has a starting point and an ending point. Intersecting lines um, meet somewhere, um, but they go on forever. And then perpendicular lines um, is kind of like that T, so it crosses at a 90 degree angle. Um, so then again, a point is just that exact location. We talked about a line. A ray is going to be an end point, and then it has an arrow on the other side. Um, so it has a starting point, and then it never ends on the other side. Um, we talked about a line segment, parallel lines, perpendicular, and intersecting. Um, so here's just a couple more different um, examples and kind of talks about how you can name these lines. Um, so this would be line AB. You could call it line BA going backwards, or you can show what it is on top um, by putting that line segment um, with AB or BA. And then same thing with like a ray. Um, you would name it ray CD, or you would show that it only has an arrow on one side. Um, letter that means endpoint must be written first though. So this one's a little bit different. Um, you have to write C first and D second because D is the side where it continues. So this week again, you're going to be talking about um, different types of line segments. Um, so for today, Monday, um, I can differentiate between different line segments. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to tell me um, so looking at this example right here, um, you're going to tell me, is it a point, a line segment, a line, or a ray? And it has a different example of each of these above. Um, and then you're also going to write its name. So looking at this one, um, and you don't have to write all sorts of different names. You can write um, just one. Um, so this one is a line, so you'll notice it's the same here. And then you could call it line TS or line ST or you can use the visual TS with the line above it or ST with the line above it. Um, so let's do number one together. So looking at this, you'll notice that it matches a line segment up here. Um, so a line segment has um, two end points. Um, so it starts here and ends here or starts here and ends here. It is just a line, it has two um, ending points. So this is going to be a line segment. I'm going to try and write it as neatly as possible, actually. I'll type it in, if it will let me. So this is a line segment. Um, and then it also wants its name. So one way that we could name this would be to use the letters. So you could say CD. And then reminder, if you wanted to write its name, you would just do a line above it. And it gives you examples up here as well. We could also go backwards, DC, and put a line above it. Or you could type out line segment CD or line segment DC. Either one works. So you're going to be going through and you'll be naming um, and identifying the different um, lines, points, rays, or line segments. Again, there are examples up at the top on this page with examples of how to write each um, different type. On to page 16. So this is week 10, day two. I can differentiate between line, um, different line segments. So this is going to be Tuesday. Um, so on this one, you're going to be writing um, if it's parallel or not parallel. So on one, two, and three, you're looking to see if it's parallel or not parallel. Parallel means that they will never, ever touch in either direction, okay? So basically, if this continues going on, would these two touch? In order for them to be parallel, they have to be like railroad tracks. Think about, can a train drive on these tracks? Would that make sense? 
Um, so you would want to tell me if it's parallel or not parallel. Down on four, five, six um, through nine, you're gonna tell me is it parallel, intersecting, or perpendicular? So again, you have all of these examples up top to help guide your thinking. Um, so let's do number one together. So thinking again, can a pair uh, or can a train drive on these tracks? Or would somehow the train, um, the, the wheels on the train start to fall off the tracks? Um, so on this one, this would not be parallel because we can't drive a train on these tracks because if you notice, they are not straight. They don't ride right next to each other like these parallel lines. So these are not parallel. So on this part, this is all that you're gonna be doing today. You're just identifying if it's parallel, intersecting, or perpendicular. Down on numbers four, five, and six, we wanna know is it parallel, intersecting, or perpendicular on these? Um, so let's do number six together. So looking at number six, are these lines parallel? So do they never cross? Are these lines intersecting? Do they cross each other at a certain point? Or are they perpendicular? Can you make a little box in this corner? So if you look at this one, you would notice that they are intersecting. So these are intersecting lines because they intersect um, each other. They can't, you can't drive a train on these tracks um, and then they don't make that perfect T. So looking at number nine, this would be kind of an example. Um, if you notice, this um, arrow right here tells me that this is going to continue going. Um, so basically, I'm gonna continue this line for us. So if we were to continue this from right here down, does that make a perfect T? So if I continue this straight down, does that make that perfect little T? And can I draw my perfect little box Apparently I can't. Can I draw that perfect little box in the corner to make that 90 degree angle? So if I can, that would mean that these are um, perpendicular. Perpendicular, again, means that they are going to form a right angle. That little box in the corner tells me it's a right angle. It makes that perfect T. So on number nine, this is perpendicular. And I don't want to spell it wrong. P-E-R-P-E-N-D. I see you, L A R, perpendicular. All right, so these are perpendicular lines. All right, so then let's go on to Wednesday for this week, week 10, day three. I can differentiate between different line segments. Um, so on this, we're going to answer the following using the illustration above. So we're really going to be focusing on um, this right here. So this kind of focuses more on um, specific line segments themselves or different lines. Um, so looking at number one, it says, which line is parallel to GH? So what we would wanna do is we wanna find GH and we wanna know what line is directly um, next to it, but it's not gonna cross. So think about railroad tracks. How could I make another railroad track with this one? Um, would SE work or is that going to be a wonky train? Could DC work or is that also gonna be a wonky train? Is that train going to um, fall off the tracks with GH? Then I can go over here to AB. Is AB going the same direction? And is it going to be that straight line? Are they ever gonna cross? And if not, then that would be our parallel line um, to GH. So again, we could say line AB, I also could write AB um, or BA, and this works also for here, or line BA. Um, so you could do it either way. And then on these two, we wanna make sure that we draw a line above it, representing that AB is a line. So then these would have little arrows, um, above them. So it's really important that you represent it the correct way because these continue um, in both directions. Um, so let's go down and we'll look at, um, 
let's look at number four. How many lines are parallel to EF? So EF we want to find is right here. Parallel means, again, that it's never going to cross. So we talked about how GH would not be parallel because that train can't ride on that track. So if GH is not parallel, then AB can't be parallel because those two are parallel to each other. Something to remember is that parallel lines can be tilted. They can be sideways. They can be however we want them to be as long as they never cross. So we want to find what line is also tilted um, to figure out what is going to be parallel to it. So if we look over here, DC is basically the exact same as FE. So these two would be parallel to one another um, because they're never going to cross. So DC, so I could write DC. And then again, you would put your little lines above. And again, you don't have to write all of them. You can just pick one way to write it. That's fine. Um, or you could write it out as in line um, DC or line CD. All right, looking at page 18, week 10, day four, our learning target, I can differentiate between different line segments. On this one, we're looking at street names. All right, so each of these different street names um, is listed. So Walnut Avenue would be this long line right here. Elm Avenue is going to be right here, North Street up and down. So you kind of just want to see what's below it. Um, McKinley Parkway is going to go um, horizontal, Lincoln Parkway horizontal, Maple Avenue, South Street, East Avenue, Virginia Street, Main Street. Um, so you kind of want to look at the street map and see telling whether each pair of streets is parallel, intersecting, or perpendicular. So if we let's look at number one, Elm Avenue and North Street. So we want to find Elm Avenue, which is right here. Um, let me get my highlighter. All right, so here's Elm Avenue, and here is North Street. All right, so are these parallel? Are these train tracks? Are these going to um, be able to, can I drive a train on one set of wheels on this side, one set of wheels on this side, or would that work? Um, are they intersecting? Do they cross um, somewhere, or are they perpendicular? Do they make that perfect T? Okay, um, so... Looking at this one, you're going to notice they, they cross at that exact 90 degree angle. So then these streets would be perpendicular. And then you're going to continue doing that for 2 through 10. Um, just looking at the street names. Um, if you want to get some crayons and draw, use your crayons to kind of help you um, determine that that's perfectly fine. Um, but again, you're figuring out, are they parallel, intersecting, or perpendicular to one another? Let's look at page 19. So this is going to be your assessment day. So again, don't forget on Friday, on um, June 12th, I need you to send me a picture of this assignment. So you can either send it to um, the Remind app or you can send an email to my email address um, that's listed in our packet. So what you're going to do is you're going to go through and um, you're basically going to draw each of these. So it gives you a reminder, a line, a parallel line crosses more than one, um, lines that may cross more than once. Um, is it a line that crosses only once or a line that never crosses? So you're going to tell me, is it A, B, or C? And then you're going to draw a picture of parallel lines. Same thing, intersecting. Um, is it A, B, or C? And then draw a picture of intersecting lines. Um, reminder, on page 14, you have visuals for all of these. So you can go and use page 14 to help guide your thinking for your assessment on pages 19 and 20. Reminder, don't forget. You want to make sure that you are sending me a picture um, of that assessment. So again, today um, on Friday, which is June 12th, you're going to send a picture of both page 19 and 20 
to either the Remind app or my email that's listed in this um, packet. Um, and you don't have to send me a picture of every single page this week, only the assessment pages. Um, also, just a reminder, don't forget, um, you have some Pearson Realize work. It's going to be listed as week 10. Um, it has four assignments for the entire week. So you can either start it on Monday uh, or finish it all on Friday, however you want to do it. But you do have four assignments um, listed as week 10 on Pearson Realize. Um, and as always, if you ever have any questions about any of these assignments um, or assessments, please reach out either through the Remind app or um, to my email. Make sure you bring these assignments with you to our Zoom calls on Tuesday and Thursday this week.